Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Persona 3 Reload. Today we're in Tartarus and it's our first time here. Uh, so yeah, I guess let's go up. Hopefully they have surfle time so I can completely destroy it. Oh, another thing is, uh, I was told that the expansion pass was free with on Xbox. Uh, if it's on Xbox Game Pass. Uh, that includes the PC version only if you have the Ultimate Edition of the Game Pass. Uh, I'm playing this on the PC Game Pass myself, and I, for some reason, can't get achievements to show up. Uh, apparently, we got two of them last time, even though the notifications for them are set to go off. Uh, they're not, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, but I did have a free month update to Ultimate, so I got the expansion pass, so I guess maybe at some point we'll, we will be doing the answer, seeing how apparently it's free to own even if you downgrade or get rid of Game Pass and just purchase Persona 3 on the Xbox thing or PC. Yeah, look into it yourself if you're interested in that sort of stuff. That's apparently how I'm going to do it. I'll let you know if when I downgrade back to the standard Game Pass, if uh, it goes away. It says I own it, so yeah, I don't know. They have no real combat experience. Well, I only have one combat experience and like a bunch of other Persona games where I fought stuff. All right, you ready? All right, what this was the save point, right? Clock. What a large clock. It doesn't seem to be working, though. That was the save point, yeah? No. There was a save point at Tartarus at some point in the on the bottom. All right. Yeah? Let's go. Good luck. I don't need it. That's a lot of blood. Real deal from here on, huh? Yeah. Looks well, easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. One of them, anyways. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. <laughs> now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. <laughs> this is the first floor, after all. You'll get the hang of it as you go. I mean, what diabolical, diabolical like evil overlord god or anything like that would make a dungeon where the toughest enemies are on the first floor. Right. It's unheard of. Got it. Why is she always like that? Like what? Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. Sure. I'll what do you mean you what she's like? Can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. She actually wasn't she didn't sound like condescending or full of herself at all. Also, this looks amazing. <laughs> this looks pretty dope. Hello. Hold on. There's a shadow up ahead. No. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. Wait, would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? Let's start by going over how to attack shadows. By stabbing them. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. I mean, sure. You can choose whether to use an attack or skill on an enemy. You can attack with whatever weapon you have currently equipped on you. While it doesn't do the most damage, it will not deplete your HP or SP. Launch an attack by selecting the target and pressing A. Uh, on the other hand, using a skill will deplete your HP or SP. To use one, press Y and then select the skill you want to use. Burn them alive! Blast his fucking brain out. It's like, I picked the wrong gun! Oh, 
Hey, 22 experience. Level 2. I gained 12 HP. That's actually not that bad. Oh, yeah. How'd you like my persona ability? It looks like it ran into him. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. It was standard. Well done, Eeyore. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Talk about two. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. She didn't do anything. Got it. He literally stood there. Let's continue exploring. Cool. One second, though. Can I, like... Control you? I'm 99% sure they did not make it automated completely. I mean, I'm sure it's an option. I'm sure it's an option to have them be controlled by the computer. Right? Not a, not a set thing. We'll see. <laughs> I don't mind the uh, CPU controlled party too much, as long as they're not stupid. Uh, I definitely prefer it, like in games. Another shadow up ahead. Let's get you more accustomed to combat. Yeah, I, I would definitely prefer like an automated party where you uh, don't have like a turn-based menu, but we'll see. The battle's about to begin. Everyone, stay focused. Very, you know, kind to just stand there and wait for us. Okay, so those guys are weak to fire. Let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only that, we get an extra turn in this one, right? Now, I think that's how that happened in the last combat we had. Well, the last episode. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait! Let me handle this one. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this! Whoa. Oh, you're not so bad yourself, you can find. That's it, Takeba. You give it a try as well. Oh, I will. Uh, each skill and attack has an affinity, and enemies will have weakness towards certain affinities. Attacking an enemy with its weakness will deal more damage than usual, but also knock down the enemy. When an enemy is down, you'll be able to attack one more time. If you use an extra turn to knock down a different enemy, you can attack one more time again. As long as you keep knocking enemies down, you'll be able to c attack continuously. So, is there... survey? Uh, back? Persona? They're weak to fire, I know that much. Well done. You struck the enemy's weakness. I know. Keep that up and finish off the rest. Will do. You have a quick select? It was like R1 in the other one, right? No. It was Royal, right, that had that? But... No, yes. It was in 5 and Royal. Right? <laughs> I did it! Fantastic work, Takeba. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Can you try not being a creep? I think that's impossible. Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader. Take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. I can still sense some enemies around. Let's move on. All right, going up. Can all right. defeat all the shadows on the floor. All right. I'm trying to get my map. What's the map button? No. There. I was just going up, huh? Oh, I thought this was going to the next level. Wonder how far we can go without losing contact? I don't know. 
Ooh, treasure. The heck? Hey, found some kind of boxy looking thing. It's a treasure, Junpei. Yes, boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus. And she knows that some reason. Sometimes they contain useful items for battle. Seek them out as often as you can. Oh, sweet. So they're basically like treasure chests. Yes, except they are exactly like treasure chests. Hell yeah. Let's bust it open and see what's inside. Uh, treasure chests in Tartarus contain items, money, and other loot that will uh, make exploration easier. There are many different types of chests, each with different contents inside. You especially want to keep an eye out for special items that can only be attained from treasure chests. So, white, basic, purple, good. That looks like it'll be useful. Life stones. You to decide how to use it. When I'm dying. If you get injured while exploring Tartarus, you can use items and skills to restore a FP, HP, and SP. Well, open the menu, select the item, choose medicine or lifestone, and choose the party member. Skills work in a similar way. Start by opening up the menu, select skills, and pick a recovery skill, such as Dia. Uh, then choose a party member. The best It's best to prioritize Kane's HP so he doesn't fate while exploring. Right. If we die, get a ga we get a game over, right? Hey. Dude, this is really cool. No. no this is Tartarus. Treasure chest. Come on, give me some purple stuff. A very really sunny D. Shadow detected. Ah, you have my eyes. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now's your chance. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. All right, you want me to stab them? You gotta swing your sword by pressing X. That is the X button. I for some reason was like, no, that's I was pressing uh, square. This thing in my PlayStation controller, not my uh, PC controller, which is an Xbox One, Xbox One controller. You can swing your sword by pressing X. Uh, doing so will start battle. Striking an enemy from behind will trigger a chance encounter where you take you have the advantage at the start of the combat. If the enemy attacks you first, a pinch encounter will occur, placing you at a disadvantage. Get into the habit of initiating chance encounters to gain the upper hand for easy victory. You can still swing your sword even when there are no enemies present if you are just that type of person, so you'll be able to practice and test your sword range. Yeah. Can I only use a sword? Because I was gonna use a spare. Unless there's another unique uh, weapon that I haven't used before. First, go ahead and strike an enemy's weakness. I'll keep track of tactical data, such as any enemy weaknesses you've identified. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know and I'll get that data for you. Uh, press LB that allow you the view. Okay. So LB brings up the analysis. The different affinities for a slash, strike, pierce, fire, electricity, wind, ice, light, and dark. The amount of damage inflicted depends on the enemy's affinity. Unknown. Affinity has not been used against the enemy yet. Weak. More damage is dealt when knocked down possible. Resist. Damage is halved. Null. No damage taken. Repel. Damage deflected and inflicted on the one who initiated it. Drain. Damage absorbed by the target and heals them. Uh... Okay. I'll go with. Come, These are talents, right? Ooh, didn't die one shot. Now knock down the other one. That's when you perform an all-out attack. An all-out attack. Yeah, we've been waiting for this. It's a maneuver that engages the entire team in a coordinated assault when all enemies have been knocked down. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Oh, that sounds so badass! It is? Let's try right now! Uh, when you've knocked down every enemy, you've got a chance to execute an all-out attack. That will deal significant damage to all enemies. Once an all-out attack is possible, there'll be a prompt asking whether or not you want to initiate it. Press B to cancel an A to perform. Choose wisely depending on the situation. If you are inflicted with a status ailment, or if you are unable or the only one mobile at the time, then an all-out attack cannot be executed. If any party member is afflicted with a status ailment at the time of an all attack, they will not be able to join in. This will reduce the amount of damage dealt to enemies. The enemy's down. Go! Nice! <laughs> Shuffle time! Uh, after every battles, one shuffle time may occur. During shuffle time, the different types of cards formed by a possibility, uh, the possibilities within your soul will appear. 
You can choose one of these cards. Each type of card has a different effect. Persona, uh, acquire a new persona. Wand, increase experience. Cup, activates uh, battle support effects. Sword, obtain a skill card. Coin, obtain money. Uh, the more one mores you get in battle, the higher chance shuffle time will to occur. If you end a battle with an all attack, shuffle time will always occur. Okay. That is not shuffle time, that is just selecting. Done and dusted. Also got a ton of experience for that one. New skill, healing. How'd you like our all-out combo attack, you filthy shadows? When I saw my opening, it's like my body just knew what to do. That was magnificent teamwork. It's hard to believe it's your first time. Oh no, I've killed many things. As you grasp the flow of battle, you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly. Let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring. Okay, but I actually better get a shuffle time next time and not selecting one card. I have a need. And that need is more shuffle time. Hello? That will be very sad if that is not I detect a thing, shuffle, shuffle time. Ahead. Yeah, I see it. Take advantage of what you just learned. Try not to alert the enemy as you move. I don't promise that. Turn around every now and then I want to stab you in the ass. Sorry. I've covered the basics of combat now. Good for you. The most important thing is making decisions based on the situation at hand. I'll continue providing support, but this time go ahead and try fighting on your own. Uh, dots. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. I know. Hello. Okay. I feel a new potential within me. If you have multiple personas in your possession, you can change personas to swap out your equipped persona with another in the shared stock. Changing personas will also change your stats, affinities, and usable skills based on the persona you switch to. During battle, open the Persona Miss submenu to view skills, then press the LBRB to change personas. You can also change your equipped persona outside of battle by pressing Y to open up the menu, then navigating to the Persona submenu. You can change personas at any time, but in battle you can only do so before taking an action. Uh, persona? Uh, you're weak to fire, too. I mean, you're not weak to fire, but you're weak to a lot of things. You're just statistically better already. I'm assuming you guys are weak to ice. Your persona just now. It looks like you really do have a special power. Yeah. Go. And give me a good shuffle time, goddammit, like an actual fucking shuffle time. I, if you don't, I will find my way into this goddamn game. I am sad. Are you kidding me? I don't need bash. Why would I need bash? Should I just get the bash card? Get the experience? Get the coin? You do need a lot of money, right? <laughs> Persona's not exact- well, okay, the first two Persona games that we played recently, Marco, Mask of Cruelty, uh... The enemy has been defeated. Excellent. Money wasn't too hard to come by in those games. The original Persona 3, 4, and 5, money was kind of a thing until late game, then it was no issue at all. Um, was that...? <laughs> An ice woman in a leotard? Yeah. Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. I'm I'm kind of a big deal. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. Well, to be fair, that wasn't summoning a different persona. That was my persona changing shape. All right. This 
is not a good place to stop. I want to keep going. There's a device nearby that will teleport you back. Look around. There's also some, should, should be some stairs nearby, but I can't approve any more, especially tonight. We'll explore the upper floors next time. Boo! Occasionally, you'll encounter one-way teleporters in Tartarus that can be used to return to the entrance. Keep in mind that since these teleporters are only one way, you cannot return to the same floor where you used the, uh, where it was used. Treasure. Different treasure. Look, that treasure chest looks different from the one before. You're not wrong. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. Want me to punch it? The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. Like my fist? The twilight fragment I found in my room seems to be reacting. Ah. There. Twilight fragment. I wonder. That reaction. Do you have a twilight fragment with you? How do you know what those are? Try holding it to the treasure chest. Special locked treasure chest can be unlocked with twilight fragments. The amount you need will vary from chest to chest, so you'll want to collect as many as you can. Uh, sure. Got snuff soul. Like a snuff video, but soul. That's a Twilight Fragment. They can be used to, on devices throughout Tartarus. You might find some more in Tartarus or other locations with traces of shadows. If you come across any going forward, you'll want to take them. Uh, alright. So... Where is... That's the teleporter. Not going there. Try the sprint. There's no sprinting. Hey, do shadows respawn as we uh, walk? Let's see. No enemies left to feet. Okay, so no. This would be the ladder, and you don't want us going up because you're hey, a big party space. pooper. Wait, we're looking for the teleporter, aren't we? Exactly what Takiba said. Please prioritize getting back safely for now. Every party needs a pooper. Is Seth Roth here? Holy shit! Run. <laughs> yeah, we're not ready for that. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, dude, your sword's almost like Sethroth's sword. It's close. It needs to be a little longer. And you need to be wielding it with one hand. Like a badass Junpei. Looks like you found a teleporter. Yeah. Now use it to return to the entrance. Sure. Welcome back. Hi. So, how was it? It was fine. Killed a lot of things. No problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. I gained like two levels. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power. But damn. Why do I feel so exhausted? Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. You say that, but. You look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. Oh, asthma? What's going on? Asthma. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. I have to say, though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. Ha! Okay. So, I, I get what you're trying to say, right? But after last night, when I summoned a giant death monster that one shot the big dude and then one shot the little dude with my other useless guy, how could you not expected me to be good at this? <laughs> They'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. Or have higher expectations, I guess. <laughs> we'll see about that. By combining our powers, my powers with the teams, I was able to stand against the shadows. I sense a strong bomb between them. Like, no you don't. Rank up! Just like Yukari and Junpei, I feel tired as well. Uh, I decided that it would be best to return to my room and rest. Alright. You gonna say anything new? 
exhausted. Let's call it a day. We can't take it. I'm starving. I'm just gonna stand here with baseball swinging for some reason, though. All right. Okay. Should I go fuse my ice person in Orpheus? Excellent work. I have high hopes for our future expeditions. Dark Hour will be ending soon. After returning from Tartarus, the Dark Hour will end. This will start the next day. Use this time wisely to recuperate for your next expedition. The st uh, structure of Tartarus will, be ch will have changed by your next expedition. Treasure chests you have already found will be rediscovered, or can be rediscovered as well. So returning could would be a good idea if you want uh, if you find yourself stuck, Salut. aka grind if you get stuck. Let's call it quits. Yo. Hey, you're in a 2F, right? What's with that word you're looking like? I'm Kenji Tomochika. We're in the same class. Uh, morning. Yeah, you too. I heard from Ayori that you're pretty close with Takabasan. Is that true? Ah, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience anyways. Ah, crap. It's almost time for the morning assembly. Come on, we better hurry. You guys have assembly every morning? I feel like I said that the last that time the <laughs> when I played the original, too. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So she did get elected. Yeah. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. Yeah. Yeah. Say that again. <laughs> She's got this intimidating vibe around her. Not to mention, this school's owned by the Carijo group, right? Oh, she bought the votes. As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, Change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Strive to I don't have any convictions. New future. They've never found me guilty. Realities around you. That is the key. My own ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, what a speech. Yeah, it's like she wrote it. Do you uh, have any idea what she just said? Uh, you're screwed. Uh, sort of. Didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. Why? I mean, I get not understanding it, but laughing okay, your asses off. Time for class. All right, today we'll be looking at some uh, Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm sick of this story. I already went over it in the last class. <laughs> I've got a great poem we can discuss instead. Close your text with everyone and listen to this. Isolated clouds suspended over the tall snowy mountain peak. Oh god, I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a minute? No, academics is actually fucking really hard to level up, right? So we wanna not do that. What even Hey, Kenji! You better not be sleeping back there! You should be ashamed of yourself napping while I pour my heart into this reading. Oh, you're getting another essay on top of the regular assignment tonight, dick. I expect a slice of cake room and you turn it in too. And don't cheap out on the store bus stuff like last time. I'm I forced myself to stay awake and was slightly concerned and listened to the lecture. The charm was super easy to max out, right? Charisma was like Want to stop by Paulonia Mall on the way back? Not really. Charisma was like the just. It was the second one. I didn't max it out fast though. Charm stat I maxed out pretty fast. It's natural. It's just natural ability. Um, but academics take a while, yeah. Might want to 
want to stock up while we can, since we got stuff going on at night. I mean, we can go back to Tardis tonight, I guess. There's a pharmacy there, too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. Is he really into this? You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. Let's go, leader. First task, escape from the school. Okay. How popular Sonata san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I guess neither of us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. I guess. He's a I just I just moved here. Never lost a single <laughs> match. I know that's cool and all, but who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come on! They're fawning on him more than a harem manga. I wonder where they're going. <laughs> hey. Are you guys free this afternoon? No. Huh? Uh, us? Yeah, I mean, hell yeah. We love to join your little, uh... I don't think that's what he meant, Junpei. What about our shopping? I guess there's what about the fate of the world? Later. Well, are you free or not? Yeah, I am. Yeah, of course. No problem, though. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? Sure. D the police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? <laughs> Who? These girls? <laughs> They're beneath me. No, I don't even know their names. It's kind of rude. Hearing so much chit chat gives me a headache. I, I get not wanting them to follow you around or anything like that, but you can at least know their names so you can tell them to fuck off personally. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. Please, Senpai, don't leave us! Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. They look like generic NPCs. Uh, anyway, let's go. Uh, Sonata asked us to meet him at the Polonium Mall police station. Jupiter and I decided to head over there. Uh, well, I'll just head there myself. You know the place, right? Let's go. Who are you? Waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Hagakura. Okay. Hello? Die. Finally, two new to decide. Relatable. Hello? You know how every school has at least one mystery that no one can solve? There's one here, too, you know. Like the sculptures in the art room that moves by itself. It sounded cooler in my mind. <laughs> All right, dog. You have fun with that, man. <laughs> sounded cooler in my mind. Uh, the mall. Right, the police station's in the mall. That's weird. <laughs> Is there police stations and malls in Japan? This is what Sonata san was talking about, right? All right, wanna go in? Yeah, let's go. Thank you, Kurosawa-san. I'll be taking it. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. <sighs> It didn't, Officer it didn't strike me as weird that there was a police station in the mall when I played the original. Oh, and here. This is from Ikutsuki-san. Five thousand dollars. Whoa, is that our war funds? This shouldn't have. You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. Kurosawa-san has connections. He can secure equipment for us. But these things still cost money. Can I get a Desert Eagle? Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. I've been informed about you two. 
My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. Okay. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Nothing more. By providing weapons to children. If you need something, we can talk in the back. I mean, I'll look- Oh, hello. <laughs> now then, I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. Uh, at uh, Tatsumi East Police Station, you can purchase equipment for you and your party to use in battle. You can also sell any equipment you aren't using if you need a little, little extra cash. There's no telling what dangerous targets will throw you away, so be sure to gear up with your highest quality equipment that you can afford. Equipment is listed in four categories. Weapons, armors, knees, and toes. Uh, weapons primarily influence attack to armor. Armor reduces the damage taken by wearer. Footwear affects the wearer's evasiveness. And accessories grant the wearer very special effects. Sometimes weapons or equipment other than accessories will also grant special effects. Try uh, try out different combinations to optimize and specialize, and specialize your loadout. Uh huh. Got some new things in stock. Check it out if you've got the time. Tempting, but no. As long as you need. We should be good with what equipment need. we have for right now. Oh, Bastard Sword. Uh -huh. That's my go-to in Souls need. games. Yeah, we should be probably fine with like what are you just the for? standard for now. What are you looking for? Plus one strength is never bad though. As you can see though, the the prices what are pretty are high. What is? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. What'd you bring? Could sell for? Is this just? How many are you sure now? All right. Is that that's the sell? Okay. Uh, no, I'm good. Come back soon. No. I mean, unless I need to sell something. I can't believe the police station selling weapons. What's more, they only gave us five thousand yen. You ain't that kind of stingy? I mean, kind of saving the world. I mean, I kind of with you on that one. It's always funny in like oh, RPGs. I think there is only one RPG where at the end of the game there's a shot that's like, don't give me your money. You're saving the world right now. Like, if I don't give you this shit, we could all die. This is all, I can only know of one. I'm sure there's other out there, but, but yeah, and the first time I saw that, I'm like, this makes so much fucking sense that you would just give me these items because if I don't succeed, you're dead. I'm gonna miss the rerun of the Lonely Shogun. I gotta go. Uh, what about stocking up? Yeah? I'll leave the rest to you, leader. Let's meet up again. You know where. You know, at the dorm? There's a ton of shops and stuff in this place, so you really should check it out while you can. Okay. Alright, see you back at the dorm. Bye. <laughs> uh, starting day, you're free to use your after-school hours however you wish. Making use of various school facilities or visiting certain spots in town can raise your academics, charm, or courage. However, the number of activities you can engage in each day is limited. Think carefully about how to spend your time and plan ahead. Yeah, I do need to plan ahead. Uh, when you turn the network functions on and press the start button, you can review online player statistics. Press the start button. Uh, pressing start button may also provide tips if you're stuck or recommend actions if you can't decide what to do. Oh, cool. Nope, that's the start. Oh, so the select button. Uh, went to the dorm, played at the arcade, studied in the library, made use of karaoke, made use of the movie theater, gave money as an offering, made use of what I think it said Wahlburger. Like, oh, that's a sponsorship. Uh, Wild uh, Duck Burger. Everyone's average level 5. Tartarus levels uh, floors explored 12. We can do higher than that. We can do higher than that. Who do you think we are? I am. Uh, make use of uh, Hagakura Ramen. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do this. So. Academics and courage are kind of like a big deal for the social links that I missed. So I need to work on those. Um, charm will probably get through just answering questions eventually in class and uh, other activities that we do. Um, where's the arcade? Is 
Is the arcade not here? Clear the arcade. Because I know there's... Oh, Game Paradise is the Game Paradise? Yeah. Game Paradise. Game, par uh, game Parade. You can partake in various services offered by various establishments in town. By doing so, will cause time to pass. Many businesses will raise your... Uh, stats or, or high stats may help you with new relationships. Various arcades are inside. Depending on the game you play, uh, you increase one of those stats or a stat of your persona. The arcade cycles through which games are available each day of the week. Uh, time will pass regardless of what game you play. Should I... Let's see. Courage. Agility. Let's back up real fast. Let's, uh... So, shrines there, strip mall, student dormitory. We're not gonna go to the dormitory. I should save. I know we can rewind, but I gotta save. Because I have not done that <laughs> since we got back from, uh. But I don't wanna accidentally start, like, a social link. What is- it? oh, it's the Takoyaki place. I was like, what is that, a potion? Is this a potion, Gisela? Uh, most delicious and cheap. Only 100, 400 yen. No octopus in it, but try some anyways. Not octopus restores 100... Okay. No? Hello, leisurely businessman. Oh, how should I do this? I could look up some, like, hints and stuff for me, but I could just do this as well. Uh, I, I probably want to do... So, I want to do porridge outside of school. What's at the movie theater? Where is the movie theater, I think, is a proper question. It's not down here. Hello? Oh, Twilight Fragment. Oh, fuck, I need to... I God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so I need to walk around looking for twi Twilight Fragments. Uh, Twilight Fragment is a strange item that seems to deeply resonate with the Dark Hour. Keep eyes, uh, weather eyes out. You may find them in unexpected places. Alright. So, I need to, like, look everywhere for blue shiny bits. Alright, uh, you know what? I am gonna do that. Probably in between episodes, but I'll make sure to show them if I find them. Because, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Next time, we'll do something. Arcade, movie theater, something or other. Oh, shiny bit. Thank you. And I'm gonna run around looking for Twilight Fragments. Because apparently I need to do that. Should I have gone? I should have probably looked through school, right? Uh... Where is the fucking movie theater? <laughs> Where is the movie theater? I mean, I'm sure I'll find it up oh, uh, Twilight. Yoink. Is this gonna be something I have to do every day? Like, every time we come back from Tartarus, is there gonna be Twilight Fragments around, or is this, like, one-time things? Huh. Yeah. That is... Elderly man taking a break. Hello! Okay. You should put money in it. Alright, good. Uh, maybe later. Is it Port Island? That has the, the moon. Oh, it does! It does! In the outskirts, right? What? Oh, they were birds. That was weird. When things just disappear like that. Uh, yeah, there's the movie theater. What's playing? Uh, Smile of Eiffel Tower is now showing. Charm. Oh. Uh, seeing a film at Screenshot Movie Theater will raise your academics, charm, or courage, depending on what movie on the movie's theme. The lineup will change every day, so be sure to check back then. If you get a part-time job working at the theater, you can pick up a shift during the afternoon or non-school hour on non-school days. 
Uh, both watching a movie and working a shift will pass time. No. So I'll probably play at the arcade. Give me that. I guess we'll just run around looking for Twilight Fragments now before uh, I end the episode, right? Because I'm so cruel. If this is an everyday occurrence, I probably will uh, just completely cut looking for Twilight Fragments. Kitty, do you want to come live at the dorm? No? Alright. If I go back to high school... Am I gonna have to search all this place? I mean, I gotta poop. Yeah, we can explore Tartarus starting today. There is, yeah, there is. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean that's gonna be a lot of uh, running around. If that's every day, that's gonna be a lot of running around every day to get those. I'm assuming they're not every day. Maybe after certain events makes sense. Yeah. It could be once a week type deal. I might Google if this is every day. Right? Because don't get me wrong, I would want to do it. Like, opening chest. Okay, apparently I can't go up any higher. That's bullshit. Uh, opening chest is kind of important. Especially those. Especially if they give me snuff films, right? Snowls, Kronos. Yeah, sure, snowls. Not souls at all, but snowls. Really? There's none up here? Oh, never mind. Jinx myself. Uh, where else do we need... Oh, school gate. Gym hallway? Corridor. Where is here? Oh, the tree. I remember the tree. What do you say? Uh, tree seems special for some reason. I wonder why that is. Maybe we'll find out one day. Gym hallway. Yep. My god. We can't go anything here, right? He's by the practice team. Okay. Uh. I did that one. Or you did that one. So. School gates? Do a quick little blue daba diba search. Pigeons. The pigeons are mightier than the sword. No, okay. Um, we, I think we looked everywhere, right? Yeah. No. We looked at the station, right? Yeah. I didn't look at the dorm yet. Yeah, we definitely looked at the station. Okay. That is going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.